As we begin our study from Scripture of the church's need for a fresh reformation, I do want to begin with this letter to the church at Ephesus, a church that needed to experience in the lives of the members there an honest-to-goodness reformation from the hand of God. And that's what we're asking the Lord to do this week, to come and reform us. You see, I said a few moments ago that I have no doubt in my mind that there's going to be times throughout this conference when what you hear, if you really take it on board, is going to be uncomfortable. The moment you say, the moment you agree that we stand in need of a reformation, if you believe in your soul, I need reforming, you're saying there are things in my life, there are things in my heart, there are things in my marriage, there are things in my home, there's things in my church, there's things in my denomination that need to be reformed, that need to be changed, that need to be improved. There are things that are wrong that need writing. From this letter to Ephesus, I want to speak about the first indication, and it always is, the first indication that the church believer is in need. The church, the home, the family, the individual child of God is in need of a fresh reformation. And this is it. This is my topic. When strong convictions become a substitute for strong devotion. When strong convictions become a substitute for strong devotion. It's very easy to find ourselves in a spiritual state where we think that our strong convictions are a satisfactory substitute for strong devotion to Jesus Christ. But they aren't. And you can work and labor with blood and sweat and tears and do it all with a cold heart towards the Savior. You can take your correct and strong stand against apostasy and compromise and all of the isms of our day and do it without any love, any love, affection, desire for Christ. You can remain faithful and stand when all others have fled, enduring affliction and persecution, and yet be in a place where you have actually walked away from your first love because something else has become more appealing to you. 